All right, so it's been about 13 to 14 hours since the part two top legendary summon featuring the LR Android 17 slash Team Universe 7 and the LR Angel Golden Frieza in Android 17 dropped on global. And today, as always, we're gonna be doing a quick top grossing update by going through the top grossing rankings of various regions or countries around the world to determine whether or not us global players can expect any kind of top grossing rewards and top grossing dragon stones over the next couple of days. Okay, so with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it. As you guys can see, we are on the Sensor Tower website and we're filtered by today, July 26th, 2021. And the category is games this time instead of all categories. Now, for those of you that watch these videos regularly, you know that we always go by all categories instead of games because normally Bandai counts top grossing only for all categories, but for some reason it seems like they changed the criteria this time around. If you go back to like the part one top grossing, um, it says right here, right? Tokan Battle has achieved first place on top grossing games on Apple App Store in 15 regions worldwide. So I'm not really sure if this is gonna be like a trend going forward where they're gonna start counting top grossing games as opposed to overall top grossing, maybe because they're starting to realize that it's getting harder and harder for Dokkan to compete with all of these new gacha games, and it's much more rare for us these days to ever hit top grossing overall for all categories, right? So, uh, like I said, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen in the future, but for now, for this anniversary, it does seem like they're going by top grossing games, so that's also what we're gonna go with for this video. So going back to the first region now, which uh, is the United States, as you can see in the iOS store, the US is currently ranked at number two for Dokkan, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. We just need to beat out Roblox, and I do think that there's a really good chance it does happen at some point during today. Obviously not confirmed yet, but um, I think it's pretty likely that we'll get top grossing in the US for the part two banner. So there you go. Now moving on to another region that is typically very good for us, and that would be France. And as you can see, France is at number one overall, or at least for games, top grossing, which is amazing. And even if the US fails, even if all the other regions fail us, France has got our back. And at the very least, we're guaranteed a couple of stones because of France right there. So uh, that's great news. And we also have Luxembourg currently very close at number two, just like the US, and I do have a lot of faith in them as well. So possibly another region for top grossing right there. We also have Hong Kong at number three. We have Italy at number three as well. Austria at number three. Switzerland at number three. Uh, Spain at number four. Belgium at number seven, a little bit lower than I was expecting, but not terrible. We also have Germany at number uh, eight, Croatia at number five, Netherlands at number nine, uh, New Zealand at number 16. Okay, so New Zealand obviously is not very close, but they did hit top grossing in part one, so I decided to include them anyways. And uh, finally, my country of Canada, is not doing so bad, number six right now. I don't think we have any hope of getting to number one, but um, still good to see, still good to see. Obviously, your boy did contribute quite a bit to this top grossing, if you saw yesterday. I had a lot of stones, they were not cheap, and it doesn't seem like it's actually gonna pay off in terms of top grossing, but uh, I tried my best, guys. Okay, so there you go, the 14 regions that I found are currently ranking the highest for top grossing games around the world. The ones that are closest, obviously, are the US. France is already there. We have Luxembourg, uh, Hong Kong, Italy, Austria, Switzerland, and Spain, I would say, that are likely or have a decent chance of getting there. And, uh, you know, the other ones like Belgium and, uh, you know, Croatia and so on and so forth, you know, like they're, they're somewhat close, but I would say quite unlikely at this point, but not impossible. Definitely not impossible. So in terms of whether or not we're getting top grossing stones for part two, the answer is yes, we should definitely be getting some top grossing stones uh, later this week 
for uh, the part two banner. But the question is, how many stones are we getting? And I can't really answer that for you at the moment. I mean, if we go by, you know, what we see here, let's say like the rankings just stopped right now, then we only have one region at number one, right? And if we go by part one, where we got seven stones per region, that means we're gonna get seven stones, right? Um, but once again, you know, there are quite a few regions that are fairly close. So let's say if the US gets there as well, and we get Luxembourg and Hong Kong in on the party, then it could be as much as like 21, 28 stones, maybe. They'll just round up to 30 stones, right? Just to be nice. Um, I'm really not sure what Bandai's planning to do here. But what I can tell you is that yes, we are going to be getting some form of top grossing stones, but it could be as little as seven stones, but hopefully it's more like 20 to 30 stones like we got last year. Now, of course, as you saw from the charts, we're not doing awesome. The performance is really not great. And I think a big part of it is because people are becoming wise to the fact that, you know, top legendary summons or just legendary summon banners in general are not good banners to summon on. And, you know, there's so many people out there like myself or other content creators that are telling people constantly to not summon on these banners. So I don't know exactly how big of a part we played in the performance here, but I would like to think we had some kind of an impact. And in one sense, it's good because we probably saved a lot of people a bunch of stones that they would have wasted on a banner like this. But on the other hand, um, it seems to be resulting in less top grossing stones for us overall. So yeah, not too sure how to feel about it. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't think the impact was that big because, you know, relative to like the size of the Dokkan player base, it's still a fairly small percentage, I would say, that actually watches, you know, Dokkan videos and Dokkan streams, right? So I think the real reason that we haven't hit top grossing in a bunch of regions yet is because, uh, number one, the LRs are just not super impressive. Like, they're not bad, but they're not like super busted like the part one LRs were. And number two, the rainbow tickets probably also played a part, I would say, right? Cause it allows people to do like up to three multis or three and a half multis worth of summons for free. So maybe a lot of people just decided to use their rainbow tickets to summon on the banner instead of using stones, instead of buying stones to summon, right? So uh, obviously I'm just speculating here. I don't know exactly what's going on. But the point is, uh, we should be getting some top grossing stones. It might not be a lot, but hopefully it's a decent amount and we can expect them probably within the next like three or four days, I would say Friday by the latest, but more likely like Wednesday or Thursday. So there you go guys, that is your top grossing update for the part two banner. Um, I wish that I had some better news, but it's not bad, it's not bad. We do have France and we have a bunch of other regions that could potentially get there, so it might end up being a decent amount of stones. But uh, that's all I gotta say, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.